Welcome to Science Easy Tech channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about pi or sector diagram for 5 marks. This was taken from Unit 7 Introduction to Statistics in Nursing Research for BSc Nursing Students. This video is also useful for BSc Nursing Students and Post Basic BSc Nursing Students. Already I have posted many videos with regard to statistics and BSc Nursing Research and Statistics. You can watch our playlist statistics for separately for statistic related videos for nursing students as well as nursing research and statistics for both nursing research and statistics related videos. You you can watch our channel playlist so we have separate playlist for both the things you can watch and you can get benefited before moving on to the topic if you are new to science easy tech channel just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates let's move on to the topic pi diagram or sector diagram pi diagram is nothing but it is a pictorial representation of discrete data so by it is a pictorial representation pi diagram or sector diagram so pi you know what what is a pi so um, it is nothing but you are representing the data in a pictorial form and it is uh, appealing to the visual thing okay so it is visual representation of the given data the whole data is represented in the circle itself in different proportions so the whole data is represented in the circle itself so the data under consideration has been studied in the circle itself then size of each angle is multiplied by class percentage with the 360 degree so this i will explain in the next slide so side of the size of each angle is multiplied by the class percentage with 360 degree how we have to do that we will be seeing in the next slide let's see an example for pi diagram so number of students first class 20 percent second class 96 sorry 56 percentage third class 20 percentage and failures is 4 percentage number of students marks division first class 20 percentage of students have scored first class then 56 percentage of students have scored second class and 20 percentage in third class and failures is 4 percentage so when you are adding all this it comes around 100 percentage okay so let's see how we can uh, uh, get the angle from the given percentage so what is the formula so marks division first second third failures the from the given data 20 percent of students have scored first class so how we have to formulate the angle okay 360 divided by 100 into 20 360 divided by 100 into 20 which gives 72 degrees okay second class 56 percentage now so 360 divided by 100 into 56 2 not 1.6 degree angle okay so next third degree again 20 percentage 360 divided by 100 into 20 if you are simplifying again you will be getting 72 degree and failures 4 percentage 360 divided by 100 into 4 degree which is equal to 14.4 percentage so you have uh, the angles you got the angles by the formula 360 divided by 100 into the given percentage why we are telling 360 means the circumference of the circle is 360 uh, degree so you have to take that 360 degrees okay next uh, um, so here they have given the color coding so for the person uh, for the students who have obtained first class they have given um dark blue color they have given dark blue color so here you can see dark blue color which is for what first class okay next is what next is second class so second class how much degree angle 201.6 degree angle so for second class they have given yellow color okay then for third class for third class again it is 72 degree angle they have given light green they have given green color okay they have given green color for third division next for failures they have given light blue color for failures they have given light blue color in this way you can 
give the color when you are drawing it manually suppose if you are using microsoft excel and all no easily the given data whatever if you want histogram that will give the histogram if you want a pie chart that will give pie chart in pie chart also you have two types of pie chart one is two dimensional so this is an example for two dimensional or you can have three dimensional pie charts also so this is one more example for pi or sector diagram population of countries of the european union in 2017 by percentage okay so they have given the different uh, colors and different color codings so germany okay they have given a 16.6 percentage france 12.8 percentage united kingdom uk 12.3 percentage and uh, italy it is 11.9 uh, then uh, spain it is uh, 9 um poland uh, dark red color that is again 7.7 .7, and uh, all other countries it is uh, represented in uh, violet which is 29.7 degree angle so in this way they have represented so you can represent many uh, thing also in a one thing okay maximum uh, three to seven you can represent in a um, pi diagram more than that if you are going to do it it will be confusing for the viewers let's see the advantages so gives audience the best visual for statistics so visual representation it is very colorful easily you can understand it so you can understand it with little knowledge of mathematics okay it doesn't need a you should be a master's in mathematics it's not like that with little knowledge of mathematics also by seeing yourself you can understand it it can summarize a large set of data with minimal explanation so you can summarize it a large set of data only with minimal explanation so easier to understand than any other graphs like a histogram or bar graph or line graph whatever it may be so it is a compared to other graphs it is very easy to um, do it and easy for you to understand it also next moving on to disadvantages a pie chart can only have one set of data okay it can have one, only one set of data you can represent it it is hard to tell which sections are bigger okay for example sometimes no one will be in uh, 50 degree angle one will be in 40 degree angle in such cases and all no it will be very difficult uh, the 40 also will be looking like 50 or 45 also will be looking like 50 okay so you you may not know which is very bigger uh, which is very smaller that and all is very difficult Supp suppose if the data is going to be at very close intervals uh, you can only use it for expressing data out of a whole so out of a whole how much this is how much this belongs to how much per thing uh, angle you can represent it it does not tell how large the hole is there is no numerical data only angles you are representing now so there is no numerical data at all if you have too many sections i told maximum you can go for three three to seven sections more than that if you are going to represent in the pi diagram it is going to be very 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 confused okay so uh, you have to see to it if it should not be more data so if you are going to draw more data again uh, when you are seeing it it will be very confusing for you okay so that completes your advantages and disadvantages already we have posted videos on histogram bar diagram separately also because five marks they are asking repeatedly these things that's why we have put a separate session for five marks if the whole presentation of data in the form of graphs also sometimes they are asking so if they are asking you can uh, watch our channel playlist we have posted in detail all the uh, thing uh, for uh, essay question okay hope this video is clear for you all if you like my video please give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel my previous videos link as i have told earlier i have given the link in the description box suggested end card and i card you can watch our channel playlist for more videos thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel